So, as you may or may not have heard, or may just be finding out, Spectrofilm is discontinued again. They say it's the cameras, though we know by their own admission that the uh, film is thick because that's why they can't fit 10 frames into a cartridge, they can only fit 8. Um, but whatever, everything their CEO has said, everything that they're saying right now is that they just can't support the cameras anymore. So, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, I don't think they're going to keep it alive or bring it back. Um, so now what do we do with our Spectre cameras? Uh, well, I haven't seen any videos on this. I tried looking. Maybe it didn't look good enough. Um, but I'm going to show you, uh, as best as I can, a trick uh, that's been out there for a while. Um, several people have been uh, doing this to... I think this came about probably the first time uh, Spectre was discontinued. Um, and it's how to reload um, 600 type or I type. Uh, I'm just going to refer to it as 600 type from here on out. Um, film into your Spectre cartridge. So we've got that here. This is already exposed. I just reloaded it with the dark slide um, to show you in the light what you would do. But you're going to want to do this inside of a changing bag or in a dark room. Um, I nailed this on my first try. Um, but I did kind of look at it at first to kind of see how I was going to do it, and then I did it inside a changing bag. So it's not that difficult, but let me kind of run you by what you would do. Um, so you're going to want to have all these three things inside of a changing bag, right? You're going to want your Spectre camera uh, already opened, uh, or at least be, be able to open it inside of the camera. I mean the changing bag, sorry. Um, you have your new film and your Spectre cartridge. Uh, some people worry about the voltage not being able to support it, but I have actually reloaded this several times. It's probably the third reload, and it does okay. But at least if you reload it just once, whatever. Um, so at least if you've got any Spectre film remaining, save all your cartridges. Um, and that way in the future you'll be able to uh, reload them with uh, 600. Alright. Um, so let's do that right now. So let's pretend we're in a dark room or a changing bag. And what you're going to do is, um, actually beforehand on this guy, be in the light, you could already just like pop this open. Um, I had already popped, already had it popped open, so it didn't take that much effort. But I think it's, these do close back up. The 600 type don't. And then you just kind of yank it. Um, it's okay if you break any of these plastic things, because when you put it back into the camera... You don't need it to close anymore. As a matter of fact, it's not going to be able to close because the film uh, won't let it. Uh, 600 type film is longer um, in this direction than Spectre film. All right. So you already have that ready in the changing bag. Then you're going to grab your I type or 600, and you're just going to yank this right open. You're not. You don't care about this cartridge anymore anyway. So just like pull it all the way off. And then you're just going to pull it out, get it out of the way inside of the changing bag. And then what I do in the changing bag is I squeeze the dark slide and I try to feel around to see what I could pinch out, right? I just dig up in there with my fingers and I try to pull it all out. It's probably going to be a little bit different with packs that have a battery in it. I-Type is probably better because all I-Type has is this card, which you can kind of feel for and then throw away or put to the side inside of the bag. And the metal spring which you can kind of remove. You know, and so while you're holding it like this inside of your changing bag, you're gonna feel around for your cartridge. And what I do is with my fingers like that in threes, you kind of gotta press down. And you might actually need four. Because see there's one, two, three, four, four metal uh, I guess bars that can get in the way. So while you're pressing that down inside of the changing bag, you're going to feel around and then kind of feel for it to go in. And what will happen is they're going to be kind of in the middle. So you need to press it down and make sure that they sit over here as close as possible to the notch. right? And in the changing bag, you're going to do this. Um, you're probably going to miss this part in the changing bag, and that's actually okay. Um, because all you need it to do is to align on this side. And that should never really have a problem. Um, but you can always feel around for it. In the changing bag, you'll get the habit of doing this, pressing it here to make sure that it sits flush along this edge. And then what I do is then I press it from up here. So while I'm doing this, 
these two actions, pressing it from up here, and then at this time, uh, this side, like I feel, I get a feel for it, and I'm like, all right, cool, it's flush, right? If you want, you can do a little tap, tap, tap again, although that might loosen it up and feel it around. So at this point, it's going to stay like that. Like I said, it's not going to close because you're filming there is a block in it. But you're just going to put it in the camera. Um, in my uh, When I was tinkering around with this camera, fixing it a while ago, I just kind of screwed it up. So um, it'll spit out the dark side if I don't have it closed. Watch, you'll see when I open it. Ta -da! Okay, so now let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go into my changing bag and then load some fresh film and then show you same, some uh, fresh exposures. And this camera now has a Spectre cartridge with reloaded 600 film. Uh, once again, my camera is uh, screwed up a little bit. Um, I messed up the sensor inside so the moment I open it it should eject the uh, dark slide so let's see if that happens and it does that is the Polaroid 600 dark slide so at least it does that so now let's take a photo let's take a photo up with the camera it might be um it might not work but let's see let's All right, well, this eye type film is not good, but let's see, let's see if there are any results. Let's see what else happens. Take another photo up here of my Prusa printer. All right, so we'll wait for those to develop and then see what happens. Uh, this that's going on right there, I think might be a film issue uh, because this was a film that I had stored eye type that I got from an eBay sale with a I1, a broken I1. So, yeah, what do you know? It's old, it's old stuff. Okay, I was worried for a moment about what uh, was happening in the pictures. I wanted to rule out that it was the rollers in the Spectre doing anything, so I just pulled out an unexposed frame, and you could see it already has that mark on it. So this is just a bad batch of film, but it doesn't matter because there is a photo that I took of my tripod and my iPhone filming this video. And, as I said, there is the... Uh, photo of my uh, Prusa printer that I just took. So obviously they need some more time to finish developing. It's only been like about, I don't know, a couple of minutes. But there you have it. You can load 600 type into your Spectre camera, use a changing bag, uh, or do it in complete pitch black in your darkroom if you've got one, and you should be okay. Alright, hope that helps.